Hello everyone, this is Onaway Joe. We're playing a Voran. This is Targeting Science Building Mark 3.2 Video 6. Welcome back. Sorry I haven't posted in a few days. Uh, personal life was a little stressful and it kind of uh, made it hard to work on the situation of how this build's going to work. And I had a few prototypes going and it was working, but it, uh, it just kept falling apart when I was filming it. And I wanted the tolerances to be tighter and uh, came up with some different ways to do it. And let's go ahead and show you that. But uh, And then hopefully we can get this build finished. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this docked up first of all. I took off the angle armor just in case for right now. And just made flat, smooth, thin plate armor around uh, the docking portion of it. Uh, just to kind of uh, make it easier to get docked uh, and try to take out any maybe differences of maybe where how this block is interacting or shifting then what I did is I came in and um, came out with my first prototype which oops I actually deleted uh, but I got basically the box around like such, but the other prototype I got rid of because it kept getting mixed in with everything. So what I ended up coming up with is this design right now. So what I did is I built some parts going down to kind of replace the center shaft. So let's go ahead and build it. So as you can see, it wraps around the ship, the primary ship very well. And we drop down uh, parts to basically offset how the top goes up. So basically this counterdicts this part. So basically if you go back, you see how the X, Y, and Z axis stays basically center here. And basically it centers. So as you build up, it offsets down. Then I built plates coming out in front and back to help offset the front and back movement and uh, the side to side is basically held on by the plates the top is a little bit has a i gave it a little bit less tolerance than the rest of the ship uh the rest of the ship is literally sitting right basically on top of let me see if i can focus and show you it's like point one it's right there it's right on top of it and the top i left a couple uh parts a couple of them just in case something does happen I gave a little bit of breathing room there so I gave it a like two two plates uh, so point zero one thickness no it's actually point zero two thickness on top but everywhere else is point one so what I ended up actually doing is because I basically removed that center area before I was trying to build around it and it wasn't just working well so what I actually did is I took the crew quarter I took and docked the dock to the primary and I cut the crew quarters in half and let me see if I can show you and basically lined up I think I have to be actually inside the ship let me see and um, cut it in half basically to where is just as you can see is just poking out of the orange part of the the build so and then I just slapped that bottom plate so I basically took the primary ship's top plate and slapped it on the bottom so by doing that it gave me a good session I actually shrank it from length and width down a little bit and the reason why is because you know I was middle snapping it on and right now I'm having some weird things where like the dis the patterns are like transferring over each other because I think it's so thin I'm not too worried about that it is super rich stone and what I did is I kind of just basically copied and pasted and moved some more plates up in front there is a slight little like a couple points here or there of difference between front and back of the stone from the primary and the partner I'm not too worried about that and then I hooked it off on the back then what I did is uh I'm going to show you here I left this spot specifically like this is I took and basically built on top of a couple points so I, I added an extra 
a uh, point as you, it's a point zero one area and so like the top right here I left one I built three up and then I how I built the top plate was right to that th top one and that's how I was able to square it up so I built one out because that would replace the armor or the the shell for the basically the the hull of the the ship which is the primary then I added another one and that one is where the top plate was built on it was centered right on that middle snap then I built one two three again I left an extra one on top just in case something happened forgive and then I took the bottom plate here that I had copied and placed and put it on here by middle snapping it off of that arm and then there we go so that is how I beat that monster um, I'm sorry I didn't come up with a way beforehand uh, it just everything going on kind of kept uh, breaking my concentration unfortunately and with my disabilities I kind of have to uh, really concentrate and talk at the same time uh, kind of makes it difficult for me to do so I just went ahead and save that up so now that I have that combined so I can delete this prototype now so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a thin layer of armor on and we're going to continue on with the build so I know I said I would already have the armor on but we'll go ahead and continue right now uh, let's see a little thin part of armor I was just thinking we'd put a like pretty small probably a point actually I think I'm gonna go point oh nine hmm zero nine and the reason why I'm putting armor on in stone stone does stop electricity but armor stops rail guns from going through your ship that's why I like doing it this way uh, so I think I'm gonna go point nine 0 0.09 thick of armor so that will bring it to a 0 0.01 overall for the ship uh, thickness and let's shrink this down so it should be at 0 0.9 and I'm just going to uh, I'll go ahead and color it yellow and we'll go ahead and slap that on all right we're gonna go ahead and rotate it up top there we go and we'll go ahead and color this one blue there we go I did see it shift a little bit see I don't know why the textures and stuff are not did not overlap did not let me build it oh okay that's fine we can go ahead and uh, do it as such we'll go like this and we'll go ahead and jettison it out unfortunately it has been kicking it out some like that we'll go down I'm not sure why the jettison of the docks are so much um, forceful like that but it is what it is so we'll go ahead and again most of this is going to be docked together for most of his life so now we'll try that again so we'll go ahead and put the there we go and we'll go ahead and rotate this we'll call color this one yellow all right now we need to take and make up that gap right there so we'll go ahead and do it as such like that we'll go ahead and merge and on the bottom we'll go ahead and copy and paste I guess we could just kind of we should be able to just paste it through this again this will probably just dis this will disappear this is just a placeholder right now to keep the the ships dynamics together so that don't worry about that is going to not be there forever and I should be able to just all right there we go 
Make sure that these are glued together. All right. There we go. Um, hmm. I guess I could just rotate it over and do the same for the back here. For our armor plate. And we'll go ahead and close up this part right here. There we go. Merge these. And again, I know this is this is the inside of the ship. But it just I just know sometimes it helps with a little bit of a little bit extra protection just in case and again I'm I'm not putting too much on because I don't want to uh, weigh the ship down too much but I still want to protect it so let's see we should be able to merge all these together now all right so now we got our little prototype ship with a bunch of little bit of uh, armor on and various things like that so now i want to start putting the shields on we want to put the generators on and and then also the, the equipment dot so let's go ahead and save it as it is right now there shouldn't have been anything really changing on too much of the oh the dynamics of the top and bottom parts actually maybe it did because let me think because we just added 0.9 on top of armor. Let's just do this uh, to make sure I offset it. So that's basically keeping the top and bottom the same because I built some on top, I need to build some on bottom. So hopefully that will uh, make sure that that issue will go away. If not, we'll figure that out as well. All right. so. Let's go ahead and save that again. That is the one I want to keep because this one doesn't have that extra one. Nope. It's okay. Now I want to have I want to see if I could put ten uh, million shields on board. So I'm thinking I was going to add the shields kind of as a big packet and wings on the side. I'm thinking of putting like the generator on the bottom. And I had some more crew maybe on the back. Um, and we got to probably protect this part a little bit too. Now that I'm thinking about probably put a little bit of stone around that too. Uh, all right. So let's see how much would 10 million in shields. And I'm going to go with Trinium even though it's a little bit weaker shield than uh, Axiom. But I think the yellow uh, metal, but I think uh, the weight ratios, well, I guess we could check that real quick. I uh, can't remember. Let's go back to, let's go to size one block. One block scale. Let's try to get it to a one to one ratio here. A one block to one block. All right. Let's test this out real quick. That gives me 200 and... 53 shield we lose 80 we lose uh, shoot. how much shield did we lose almost yeah, we lost 84 HP and shields but we lost 8 tons in mass hmm so I'm trying to think like so that means that basically what is the ratio so it's almost like I would I would gain so it's like a ton yeah for every oh, almost 10 HP for one, a one by one block it's one more ton plus a little bit so I guess I should build it actually in uh, I should build it in this then I think it would help me. Uh, if not, I could always go ahead and change it. So what would we be at just putting this on like that? That would put us at a half 
half a million. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring it out some. Let's say right about there. That's 2.5 million. Okay. 5 million. All right. Well, there you go. There's 10 million right there. And we haven't even hit 13 slots yet. We're at a terawatt of power. Actually, that's not even that wide as I was thinking, too. I'm actually kind of liking that um, for right now. I mean, it doesn't need to stay this way. We can also start wrapping it up around on top if we want to. Let's see. We can also kind of cut the edges down. We don't have to make it so boxy. We can still kind of add that design coming down like this. So, but we just kind of shrink some of them coming down too. Hmm. Because I was thinking about doing that manta ray design, right? But there's nothing saying that we can't add a little bit of armor in the front right here and then add that kind of coming out like a claw. Maybe I need to look at a picture of a manta ray real quick here. Let me pull up that image on my my phone. So then maybe I can do uh, a better idea in my head of what I'm wanting to look at. Okay. So yeah, so okay, so they have like a the front part and then they have their little tusk coming out. Okay, and then they're they're it kind of comes off to wings and coming out. So there's nothing I can't say I could use like and build out something like that to overall help. Uh hmm. So um, what I'm saying is I don't need to necessarily, and they do have a wide, thick body, and then they would have like a tail coming back, kind of like guiding in and coming back. But we could do that with armor or stone or just to, to kind of work on it. Hmm. But they do have like a big, bulky core body, that's for sure. So I guess we could leave it like that. All right, so I, I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. I'll keep it simpler, try to get it going. So we're sitting at the requirement of 2.6 terawatts of power. That's quite a bit of power. I know some of this is actually considered power, so I probably actually should, because this is going to be trimmed away. So let's go ahead and make sure we get rid of this so it doesn't give us a false negative. Uh, let's just change this to trinium armor right now. So we don't like uh, accidentally count that power. So it should be, yep, okay. Now I want to add power. We could add it on the back, top, or bottom here. How do we want to do that? Hmm. Thinking. Well, we have all the space we're gonna have to use on the bottom anyways the offset changing to the top probably the bottom I think is gonna be probably the better idea I'm not sure if it's gonna let me build all the way through that let's give that a shot so actually it will so I am using generators on this ship again, and the reason why I'm using generators on this ship specifically versus actually uh, the, the solar panels is because I want the processing power to go up, but I want to keep the weight down. So by keeping the weight down, uh, because I am uh, using generators if I would use solar panels, I would get more more bang for my butt as far as power out at, per weight, as we've shown in the other earlier videos of this series of building it. But I still want to expand and make sure I hit 15 slots on this ship. So if I put something on that doesn't add to processing power, I'm not going to get to the 15 
slots is easy so that's why I'm building a generator on this ship so let's go ahead and let's see what we can get for power output here what do we got actually we're pretty close um, hmm see if we could build another and we do want to have quite a bit of power on board now that I think about it too and the reason why we want to have a lot of power on board is because we want to be able to add shield shield bonuses on there which reduce generated power so it doesn't hurt to have more uh, like power output um, so maybe we could if we double the power so let's maybe bring it up to three terawatts can we do that let's see we are adding a ton of weight on this thing though we're we're up to megatons or metric tons I'm not sure what megatons I think I'm not sure if our primary ship can haul this but we'll have to see and we're up to f almost to 15 right there and that puts us at 2.8 terawatts of power Let's see if we let's see if we go to generators. What? Let's highlight them. See what we get if we change it to just normal trinium. Uh, transform all blocks. So let's see. We took off 181 kilotons of mass. We actually gained HP? Or no, we lost HP. We lost 420 gigawatts of power. But the space jump went down too. But again, this doesn't need to worry about space jumping because it's only based on the primary ship, not the partner. So... Actually, I'm thinking the weight loss. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep the batteries trinium for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get these merged together. Everything should have merged together, I thought. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's never a good one. Oh, there's a gap right there. Oh, no. How did that happen? Oh, I must have missed that. Uh, I know. I know what I did. I missed the armor. Okay, so let's see. How can we fix that issue? Uh, let's shrink this down. Can we put a, a one block inside and maybe use that as a patcher? Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and change that down to 0.9. I think... I think it was around 0.9. So let's go. Yeah, let's go to 0.9. Let's see if we can get it squeezed in there. It should be about that size to fix this issue. Nope, it's actually smaller. Oh, it should be. Okay, I know. Should be point 0.1 then, because it should be totaled together. That's what it was. All right, let's shrink this down to point 0.1. All right, let's see. Does this fit in here? All right. Now can we merge it together? Okay, and that's because the reason why we when we went to the shield generators, they're split and that wall was there for the internal parts that's why it didn't affect it so I think I'm pretty happy with the power output now we need to go to um, we need to do an integrity field generator we probably want to build one that's pretty decent size for this vehicle uh, we should probably hmm let's see we can build it up and down these are big blocks too, so that's going to help advantage to uh, 
the dampener. Oh, and another thing I've learned about uh, integrity field generators. Think of them if you're engineer or technical based. I feel like they're more like a capacitor. And then like your sh standard shields are more like your batteries. Where the capacitor uh, integrity field generator absorbs that power and then it goes pop. So like I've been was wondering why some of the times parts are broken in my ship, but I couldn't see what they were. I believe that they're the integrity field generator. So like, let's say I put the gen. Did I nope? And the field generator. Okay. So if we put it right here. So any sections that it's covering, like say we're getting shot in the the generator part, it's shooting the generator. This generator or the configure integrity field generator has a certain amount of HP and it's going to help protect that spot once it absorbs that capacity for it this part breaks so you lose the generator the field generator off of the the ship that it breaks it pops so then that block is exposed to get destroyed it by normal means it might not be covered by integrity field generator that that's something i found out and thought about and then shields they're like batteries because once you drain them down to zero granted i know it hurts the battery over time realistically you can keep um redoing like revamping the battery as in like you could recharge it but it doesn't necessarily destroy it so and maybe my terminology might be a little bit not clear but i think it is if not um i think i explained it if even though my analogy might not be correct let's see how if we can make let's go ahead and put these shield generators together for right now and again i'm kind of slapping these together because they're big parts let's see they it doesn't have enough height to go down but it let me see it goes really long that's for sure what if i put so i don't like that so it's not going to cover it if i put it in the front and back parts hmm because all these pieces are really long and big but we need to still cover the center right well we can cover the center with inf like I, how i did on the mark ii and just cover it with field generators around it that will help i protect it i think um okay we'll do that so we'll wrap that and then wrap it in some stone i don't think i'll skip the armor on that i don't think it will get hit with the railgun but we'll have to see or maybe i'll do integrity field generator a small one then also armor and then stone so let's go ahead and do that i guess while i'm thinking about it uh it should be definitely small enough so we'll just kind of do that all right and put it on this side merge and did this side merge yep and technically how I did it on the Mark 2.2, that's going to actually cover the whole ship. As you can see, it's covered by the planes. Um, but it, I think, like I said, that's where like one is taking some... There was one time the shields got gnawed away and that dampener got broken really easy because it's not that big. That it, They actually started chewing up the, the ship quite a bit. But actually by doing this, this is how i did on the mark ii it actually covers it's using the length of the blades completely to basically shield it um maybe i'll put it in the back a bigger one too and again we're trying to get that that up to 15 too and we're still at 14. so let's get this i guess real quick let's get some more armor on here uh a small layer of armor just to protect these and another thing I like the way I did this with the 
kind of wrapping them around like that, it it really um what's the word I'm looking for? I think it really helps um localize it a little bit more. So it's just a different train of thought. But again, this is primarily a shield tank. So I don't really want to take any damage into the hull. But apparently there's still those uh, ones that like to try to get in there and cause some problems for us. Maybe we'll just kind of come in here and Let's see. Can we? Yeah, there we go. Just, there we go. Just to cover them a little bit more. All right, so that should be pretty decent, I feel. If not, well, we're going to run into troubles. But again, technically that covers my field. The whole ship will be covered, except for down here. But again, this parts are going to go away, and I'll probably use, like, just on the Mark II, where I use a little bit of small parts here and there to help with the, the small decorations or the structures that are built. Um, so I could build more shields, or I could build more uh, generators. Uh, also, I, oh yeah, I want to put some assembly plants on here, because that's going to help build my... Uh, my my crew or my uh not my crew my fighters there we go and oh and i do need more crew because right now i'm down to 300 and i'm pretty sure i'm going to fill up let's let's give crew yeah i'm way over seven seven hundred forty but usually i half that and then i need to have like 120 because i'm gonna have it with fighters so, I definitely need to get more crew quarters built. So, let's see if we can get that set up. So, crew quarters. Uh, let's see. Let's go point one. 43. Uh, that goes up to 493. That's not too shabby. So, yeah. So, it still has that. Why is there a gap? Oh, difference. Because of the the shield doesn't come all the way out. Okay. That's because of that. the back armor. and Okay. That is something I need to be careful of. Well, I can fix that like this. So, if I take this, copy, paste... I can come in here and put it right there. It's not going to come to the full end, and the reason why it's not going to come to the full end either. Ah, that's kind of messy. But again, I mean, it doesn't need to be exactly perfect. I could put a little bit of layers on here, I think. And again, we're trying to get our crew up to about 500. Okay. At least that smoothed it out. And again, a couple extra more, you know, plates and blocks never hurt anything. That's 535. Okay. So that'll definitely cover that. So let's go ahead and go to crew quarters. And another thing I was thinking about is like, I could usually, I could even use a dock just to dock to the ships. But I, I figured it'd still be a little bit hard to do that because the orientation in the space, I'm not sure where front and back is. Maybe I'll do that on the Mark IV too. So it's just kind of figuring out what I want to do with all the ship different builds too. All right, so that's looking fine to me. Uh, we're at 535. And for right now, I think that's going to be enough crew. If not, we can once we get in... Uh, I can move some pieces around, whatever needs to be done. Let's make sure that that did get interred in field generator. It did. Perfect. All right. 
So the next big things is I want to kind of put a cargo bay on. And I'm thinking front to back, or the not the cargo bay, I want the hanger. And I kind of want to do front and back. So let's rotate it. That's going to be massive. I'm thinking I'm going to go, I'm going to end this video actually, but I'm thinking I want to go to, it's like, what is that? 170? Oh wait, that was because it was X axis. So let's go ahead and turn back. I want to, let's go back to one. Let's kind of make this holes again. All right, here we go. Let's see. Well, that definitely fit as many uh, in there, as many fighters as I want in there. Okay, and then let's see. Is that too high? I sometimes I found that it's hard for them to go up and down. All right, so let's go to four high. And still, we're not approaching the uh, 15. So that'll give deployment of four at a time. I'm at 667, three uh, large fighters. So that's definitely a lot. So that would definitely cover, um, I should be able to put any amount of fighters in there as I want. Yeah, I'm just looking at that. I'm like, I don't know if I like that or not. Do I like the center one better? Yeah, I kind of do. I like the center one better. Let's see if we take and increase. That'll be 13.8 million uh, shields. Can't, can't we merge them? That's weird. Let's go ahead and delete that. Delete that. Oh, I couldn't merge them because there's that little gap right there. Yeah. All right. Well, I could just reduce this down to four, right? There we go. All right. Well, I was just thinking I wanted to go ahead and go over to the main game. That's why I was thinking about leaving so I can actually see how much the Mark II was using for fighter bay space so I can make a bit better dock for say. But then I just realized, does it really matter? Not really. Because again, we're trying to get to 15. So we're like almost there. We still have a pretty decent energy supply, but I wonder if we can come back down here, switch it over, and we went with Trinium. Let's go to yellow. Oops. Select that block. Let's bring it down to one. Okay, that puts us over 15. Okay. So that would work over up to three so we're still a little bit over no we're not over just we're about three times the generator power so we still need to put some assembly plants on here so we could build uh fighters i think what i can do is i might i'll pull up this armor right up here just kind of fill in this gap oh we can fit Ooh, that's what we'll do you know what we're gonna fit uh, assembly plants in there that'd be neat so let's do, where are the assembly plants? Assembly plant, turret, torpedo, assembly plant. All right, so if we go, and this is armor. Armor, okay. So it's far tall, one, two, three, four. There we go. Let's make this blue for now. That's fine. So there's that. And then if we go to stone, super rich stone, 
we can actually do the same thing off of this one right here. Let's make this one yellow. This will keep them from combining, and that should give us four different build paths. I think it is able to do that. There it is. So now if we go to assembly, there. Now we have four assembly plants, and I think assembly blocks. Uh, maximum is three production. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. We have it there for now. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, that gives us some production speed up of uh, seven seconds is not that much, but again, we get a lot for the fighter base. Uh, again, eventually once I start building my big stations, they're the ones that are going to be primary by building my f fighters. All right. Now let's see. Because I built four tall as well, I need to put four more down on the bottom off the post to off weigh it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that right there. And that should offset everything right now. Let's go ahead and save the current design. And we're going to. We're going to see how it relates to the X, Y, and Z axis real quick. And then we're going to try to install it onto the primary ship to see if it does still work the same way. And then we're going to end the video. If not, I'll have to make more adjustments. It, so if we apply design, again, we're looking at... It looks like it moves a little bit front to back. See that? It's a little bit, but not too much. So it should work. So let's try to dock it up then. I'm just going to put some thrusters on this real quick. Um, a little bit more thrusters to help move it around some. Where are those thrusters? Gyros. Thrusters. All right. Let's turn off the mirrors right now. Let's get that. So we can move this around. There we go. Try to get it a little bit more in position here. Okay, so I believe we should be able to grab it now with the primary. And see if we can build what we kind of put around there. Oh, I know why the primary is getting bumped around so much. It's because it doesn't have any thrusters or anything yet. That's why. All right. I think we got a good dock now. Let's go ahead and see if we can build. Moment of truth, if it does fit on or not. It does. All right. So that's basically the kind of design and where it looks like right now. Uh, yeah. And let's double check to make sure. I think we still have integrity field yeah so yeah that's basically now we're going to add some shape to it we're going to add uh some armor some stone and then we'll add some decorative to it uh i'm going to show you how to keep this uh basically take it away but keep the, the dimensions it needs to keep it synced up with the dock part and that's going to be those very tiny hair small parts of uh of like la the not latticing the framework and that will be um what allows the dimensions of the shape to still hold but also still make me and allow me to make different patterns on it to make it just more than just a cube so yeah, the and the partnership's going to have its guns be able to be put up on here and be able to fire out. And yeah, so we're going to kind of maybe put put a little bit of angle, kind of like an angle, some armor and maybe an angle piece of stone or some frame, maybe a flat, hmm, yeah, we'll kind of work on it, but kind of angle it out and then kind of make that like frill come out a little bit. And then we're going to kind of drape it back in the back and kind of add a little bit of back parts here, like the frame, and then come back and maybe have like a small tail. And then now the job is 
can would we be able to move this i don't know uh to be honest it definitely has a lot of weight being 2.76 kilotons well actually let's see what the other one was how much does this weigh uh oh 2.2.83 2 megatons so actually okay all right so we're actually in the weight range this is actually heavier am i reading that yeah so this is about as heavy as the other one so and we're able to move that with the other one so granted we're going to put some more armor and uh stone on it but it's not going to be that thick as it was on this one so it, they might be comparable in weight so yeah i'm pretty confident we're going to be able to make this move pretty decent and i'm actually wondering should i actually i'm going to put it in the comments below do you want the front and back um fighter dock so we can get two fighters out at a time or do we want to do the moon pool where we go and uh see where is it how we did before and we put it oops i still did it wrong uh oh that's why there we go where we put it like this and we have a moon pool looking into the ship so do you want the front to back or a moon pool let me know in the comments if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe uh button so you can easily follow more and see what the heck i'm doing and how this turns out because as soon as this is built we're going to get into the campaign on insane and put it to the test but i'm pretty confident with already having 13 million shield power and we have 15 slots this bad boy is going to do some some tanking and uh of course again the primary ship is going to have a bunch of turrets on board and we're going to have some fighters going along i was originally going to have shield fighters uh repair ones but honestly with how much shields this has and how much firepower is going to be packing i think i'm going to go with damaging so in the end Thank you so much for supporting and watching. Have a great day. See you next time.